What if I told you that G-Sync, that's right, your favorite setting, might be killing your performance? Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate Under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. Okay, so G-Sync. Everybody knows it. You love it. It's the setting that gets rid of tearing. And honestly, I really do think that you should be using G-Sync. But if you use it incorrectly, well, it could actually make your performance significantly worse. So if you are going to buy a G-Sync monitor, which they basically all are these days, and you're going to use it, I suggest you go ahead and watch this video as well as share it with your friends so you can understand how it works, why it works, and where it might be beneficial and where maybe it won't be. So yes, it'll get rid of tearing, but it'll only do so actually within your G-Sync refresh range. And so for that reason, many people actually disable G-Sync and choose to go without it at a very, very high frame rate. But actually, this is a huge mistake because take a look at this chart here, which by the way, I've done all of today's testing in Overwatch 2 using a 1000 FPS camera and multiple different runs to ensure that the data is clean and variance is within just one millisecond. But taking a look here, what you're gonna notice is, well, actually, if you turn off G-Sync and completely uncap your frame rate, you're gonna get the worst results out of any other configuration. You're just simply gonna get some pretty high latency. Now, total system latency of 27 milliseconds might not sound that bad, but to be honest with you, that's actually a 29% increase in latency versus capping your frame rate. So if you are gonna play an online game, the first thing that I would suggest is never, ever, ever let your frame rate go uncapped. The reason for this is because once your GPU starts to get loaded beyond 90%, well, it's gonna incur a massive latency penalty and yes, Stuff like Reflex does help that, and I have tested those in the past, but it's still not going to be as good as capping your frame rate within something that your hardware can actually achieve. So right off the bat, please don't uncap your frame rate. But what about G-Sync? Does G-Sync actually impact your latency? And the answer is yes. In fact, even if you take a look at a 240 FPS cap with G-Sync off versus G-Sync on on a 240 FPS monitor, well, what you're gonna find is that, well, there is actually a small two millisecond latency penalty in Overwatch 2 using all the same settings, meaning that yes, G-Sync does have a latency penalty. And in fact, G-Sync even takes some time to activate. Now, I won't get into the details, but suffice it to say, based on all of the data that NVIDIA's made public to us via how Reflex works, we can conclude that G-Sync actually takes around a third of a millisecond to work at all. And so if that's going to be the case on a 240 FPS monitor, that means that the most you can actually cap your frame rate to without seeing tearing is 225 FPS. So the real G-Sync penalty is actually around an additional five milliseconds of latency, as if you have G-Sync off and you capped at 240 FPS, you're getting 21 milliseconds of latency. And if you want to get G-Sync on and have it actually work, you do need to cap your frame rate below your monitor's refresh rate. And I'll go ahead and put some common caps in the description below for your convenience so that you know, based on the refresh rate of your monitor where you should be capping your frame rate to actually get the benefits of G-Sync. But this does mean that there is around a 24% latency penalty using G-Sync versus not using it in this game. Does that mean that you shouldn't use G-Sync in online games? Well, that depends. I mean, is five milliseconds of latency gonna make or break your game? I don't know. Maybe for the top, top, top professionals that could be the case, or if you're just getting really competitive into your online games and you want every advantage you can get, well then yes, technically disabling G-Sync will improve your performance and possibly your actual performance in game. And yeah, it's basically killing your latency at a 24% increase. But personally, even as someone who does play a lot of online competitive games, even knowing that the G-Sync penalty can be as bad as 24%, I'm still gonna be enabling G-Sync, and here's why. 
Yes, I might get lower latency by disabling it. However, the tearing that occurs as well as the slight stuttering I can see from time to time, I think actually outweighs the latency and the overall smoothness of the image is better with G-Sync enabled and actually makes me play the game better versus disabling it where I might see some imperfections. Now, if you have a really, really high refresh rate panel, such as 480 Hertz or higher, the tearing and inconsistencies may be so small that turning off G-Sync in your specific scenario might actually be the better way of doing things. But for most gamers in general, I would suggest enabling G-Sync and always capping using the in-game cap to something within your G-Sync range, which is gonna be below your maximum refresh rate. For example, 144 Hertz is typically 138 FPS, 165 Hertz, you're gonna cap to 157 FPS. But at the end of the day, you are gonna get a better, more smooth image, and it should actually make you play better despite the latency penalty. Oh, and also please, please, please do not cap FPS using the NVIDIA control panel or the AMD control panel or any external app as there's also, depending on the game, anywhere from a five to 10 millisecond penalty to doing that. So for the love of God, do not do that unless it's a last case scenario. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.